The effects of COVID-19 like a decline in tourism numbers, a halt in the manufacturing from makers of major imports, closure of markets in major export countries, slowdown in workers' remittances and foreign direct investments have set Uganda's economy on a steady decline. If nothing changes, 3.4 million Ugandans will slide into poverty, with 780,000 of them feeling the effects over the next four months, as indicated by the Ministry of Finance. Stakeholders in the business sector argue that one of the ways to avert this crisis is by engaging commercial banks to reduce the interest rates on loans and rescheduling loan payment periods. If the government doesn't come out to support us and subsidize, we may end up in trouble. The Bank of Uganda, that is, can initiate dialogues with the particular borrowers and the commercial banks on how to reschedule these loans so that they share part of the challenge. People be paying maybe the principal, but not interest. And then I can say you will get like a certain percentage if you behave this way on corporation tax at the end of the year. This will work for banks. Aside from offering tax incentives, Casita spokesperson Issa Sechito believes government should engage landlords and work out a deal to save businesses. The people who are renting premises, whether you have stock or not, it's calculated basing on calendar days. You must pay. These people want their money because they are also arguing that banks are demanding them. The Uganda Revenue Authority has sent out reminders even before 15th of this month because it is the cultural norm that you must submit before the 15th of every month. As government looks at further recapitalizing the Uganda Development Bank, those in business have considered offsetting domestic areas as a short-term measure to stabilize the economy. Recently we passed a run of 600 million euros for budget support. That money, the first priority should be given to paying domestic areas. The moment you, you bring in around 3 trillion or 1 trillion even in the market, you're going to stabilize the market, you're going to stabilize these people. As of February 2020, Uganda's domestic debt stood at 17.3 trillion shillings. Injecting a major portion of this money into the economy could have far-reaching benefits. Habad Ziwa, NTV Weekend Edition.